here in the Chicopee Public Library Kids Room, sitting in front of our easy reader section, so I can tell you a little bit about what this section means. So this section of the library is going to be where we keep books for our readers who are just starting to read on their own. These are going to be probably the very first kinds of books you read on your own. You might have helped read some picture books or some board books with your grown-ups, but these are your books where we will direct you when you're just starting to read. After these, you might move up to our early chapter books, and even after that, you'll move up to fiction, but this is a good place to start. There's not going to be many books to be read aloud by a grown-up here. These are more books for independent reading, so you won't really find family read-alouds here. If you're using this section, you might be somewhere from about mm, four to six years old. You might be starting in kindergarten reading here up till second grade, but every reader is different, so those numbers are, those could change. So it's about what you feel comfortable with and where your reading level feels like it's at. The books in Easy Reader really kind of cover a large range of books. We sometimes like to call it the spectrum of some of our easiest easy readers to some of the harder easy readers because they can start with being very simple, big words, only a couple words on the page. Sometimes you might see mostly illustrations and then they can get a little bit harder into seeing a point where it looks more like what you would think of a chapter book. The font is still going to be a little bit bigger and you might still see some illustrations, but it's going to really cover a wide spectrum. You might also see some things like words being emphasized, like underlined or bolder than other words to help you kind of look at that word and figure out how to sound it out. Some books might have help about sounding out words in them. Some books might look completely like a chapter book with no help at all. Some books might be really, really short and some books might start to get a little longer. We have some examples. So one of our starting books would be our friend Biscuit. And you can see that it's a lot of illustrations. Our words are pretty big. There's not too many on a page. But then you could also move all the way up to this book. This is a book called Nate the Great. And his book is not as many pictures. It's mostly words on a page. You can see that it kind of varies and it's a little bit longer. It looks a little more like a chapter book. Some things you might see on these books. You'll see our stickers. You'll see that we call these books J.E., the author's last name, and they all have this sticker that says Easy Reader on it. Some other things you might notice different is that some of these books have something called a level on the side. And this isn't something that we put on. This isn't a sticker. This is something that the publishers will put on. So you might look at the spine of a book and see that it says level two on it. So sometimes a teacher might say that you're looking for a book of a certain level, but these vary greatly from book to book and it's not something that we put on these books. It's something the publisher does. So that might be a good guide to know that if you're just starting to read, a book that has the number one on it for level one might be a good place to start. But this is another thing where everyone's different. Every book is different. Many publishers are different. So you might want to take a look at the book before deciding if it's a good choice for you. Something else that's a little different about our easy reader section from any other place in the library is that in easy readers, we have both fiction books, but we also have nonfiction books. So those fact books that we can get in our big nonfiction section, we have easy reader versions of. So for something like this, which is a fact book about baby cheetahs, it is still a book full of true facts about cheetahs, but it's also going to be written in a way that's a little easier. So that same big text, you can see we've got our emphasized words to kind of help with some vocabulary. And you'll still be able to learn a lot about baby cheetahs, but with a little book that's designed to help when you're starting to read on your own. This is a really fun section that for kids to explore on their own, find out what kind of books you like. We have some books that are kind of got some big, big versions of series and some books that are just one-off stories. You might recognize some titles here from when you were younger and it's a fun ex section to start exploring. If you have any more questions about us, let us know. And thanks for joining me to learn about this section. Mm -hmm.